Whether extracted or derived from recycled products, the copper received at CCR refinery has an average purity level of 98%. The copper must be treated because it contains precious metals and chemical compounds, which are extracted through our refining process. Once treated, the copper attains a purity level of 99.99%. The production process at CCR refinery begins with the arrival of copper in the form of anodes, large plates weighing 340 kilograms each. Once weighed, sampled and treated, the plates of crude copper are placed by large carriers in tanks of electrolyte, consisting of a mixture of sulfuric acid and dissolved copper. Stainless steel sheets, called mother blanks, are also deposited in the tanks between each anode. An electric current activates the electro-refining process. What follows is electro-refining. When pure copper dissolves from the anode and is deposited on the mother blank, forming a new copper plate of maximum purity called a cathode. The anodes remain in the tank for 21 days, and the cathodes are removed and replaced every seven days with new mother blanks. During the process, some of the impurities from the anodes are deposited at the bottom of the tank as mud, while the remaining impurities dissolve in the electrolyte solution. This electro-refining process represents the core of the refinery's activities. It takes place in 1,800 cells divided into nine huge aisles. In the end, three products are derived from the refining cycle. Copper, in the form of cathodes, spent anodes, and anode slime. The cathodes are then brought to the stripping machines where they are washed, sampled, weighed, packaged, and labeled. The samples are then sent to our laboratory to ensure that our products meet the highest industry standards for quality. The cathodes are then shipped to our customers by truck, train, or boat. The spent anodes are melted down in our number 8 shaft furnace, making it possible to create new anodes and recover their full value. At CCR Refinery, we have specialized equipment and recognized expertise for the treatment of anode slime. Not only that which is produced in-house, but also from plants around the world. In both cases, the slime undergoes several preparation processes in order to create finished products ready to be sold on the market. The anode slime is initially treated in the autoclaves, pressure tanks where copper, tellurium and nickel are dissolved using acid and steam. The slime is then dried and transferred to a top-blown rotary converter. This converter uses heat and oxygen to separate precious metals such as gold, silver, platinum and palladium from other impurities such as tellurium and selenium. The silver and gold in the anodes are individually produced as a sand, creating very high purity ingots of silver and ingots of gold. The ingots are then weighed, polished, labeled and packaged before being shipped to our customers. Platinum and palladium are produced in powdered form, dried, and shipped to other refineries. The quality copper produced at CCR Refinery can be found in many parts of your day-to-day -day life. It is used to produce electrical wires and pipes, in flat-rolled products for heat exchangers or architecture, and in a growing number of medical devices, not to mention in high-tech products. With a business strategy focused on innovation, CCR Refinery has developed its own unique expertise and processes, several of which were developed, improved upon, or even invented by our specialists, and which contribute to the success and growth of our company day after day.